Shirley is certainly a very powerful film and definitely one of the most powerful biographical dramas I've ever seen. Does that mean it's a good film? For the most part, yes, I really enjoyed a lot of this. From a cinematic perspective, I think it's very well done, it's very well edited, it's beautifully shot. The, the music, the use of the violin, oh my goodness, it's absolutely incredible. It's very eerie, very creepy, quite sinister, which is all very fitting because it is all about Shirley Jackson, the American horror writer. I have to say I haven't read any of Jackson's works, I knew nothing about her. And to be honest, I feel like I still don't. Well, that's a lie. After watching this, I actually went on a Wikipedia to read about her and kind of fill in a lot of gaps. This film... First of all, I don't know how factually accurate this film is. The description from IMDb is as follows. A famous horror writer finds inspiration for her next book after she and her husband take in a young couple. And obviously our famous horror writer is Shirley Jackson and she's played by Elizabeth Moss and her performance is ridiculously amazing. Really, really fantastic performance. And it doesn't, I don't feel like the film taught me much about about Shirley Jackson as a, as a writer. Did it teach me much about her personality? Well, I don't know because I didn't like her. I really did not like her in this film. I did not like the character, as I said, very well acted. But the character herself, I didn't like. I never cared for. I didn't get on board with. I don't really want to read any of her books because I just now have this, I guess, prejudice against her. I think, well, you're horrible in this film, I don't like you, I'm not going to read your books. I probably should read her novels. But when I was like having a look around Wikipedia and things, I didn't really get that same vibe. So, I don't know, it's hard to say whether or not it would be an accurate portrayal because I know nothing about her. But just the impression I got, I didn't like her as a person in this. So, it's kind of put me off reading her books, which is probably not the best thing. This is directed by Josephine Decker and written by Sarah Gubbins, based on the book written by Susan Scarf Merrill. And I might check out the book one day, but I'm not in any rush to. As I said, this is really beautifully filmed. And as a film, as a piece of art, it is gorgeous. It, it ticked all of the right boxes. It brought everything forward. Although I didn't like Shirley's attitude, I didn't like her personality, I didn't like her character... As a character, she's very captivating. I have to say it's very unfortunate that our two young protagonists are called Fred and Rose. Not Fred and Rose West, um, but they're played by Logan Lerman and, and Odessa Young, both fantastic. Somebody I particularly enjoyed in this is her husband, Stanley Hyman. He is played by Michael Stuhlbarg. I hope I pronounced that correctly. And there was just something about his performance here that I thought was absolutely fantastic. Really captivating. Very enjoyable. All around, the you know the acting was great. The, the, the scenery was gorgeous. We, we really did have some really beautiful shots in this. I just didn't like Shirley as a character, which meant I find it, found it very hard to engage with her. Um, Rose I liked. You know, Rosa is a contrast. There is a strong contrast between the two of them and I think that worked well and I did like her. The bits where we see Shirley writing, I, I loved. I really enjoyed that. We get to kind of hear her writing these words as she's writing about Paula, uh, a character. Because I am a writer, that, that bit I found very interesting and, I guess, thought-provoking. But to me, I didn't find the narrative itself very gripping. I felt like there wasn't really that much of a narrative there. For me, it was more about the characters and their journeys and the way she, she, everything revolved around Shirley and the way Shirley affected other people. Certainly very interesting. It was a good film to watch. I did thoroughly enjoy the time I spent watching it. But I'm concerned that I now do not like Shirley Jackson and I've never read any of her works and I shouldn't be able to make an opinion about that. So I'm not sure if... Really, that's what the film was trying to get at. I really doubt it. And that's not to say she doesn't have her moments. She does have her moments. There's a really good character development. She, you know, she goes on a, a journey as with the other characters. But it doesn't make me eager to read her work. I feel like I will. And she wrote the how the the um the lottery 
which is a very well-known short story that I'm familiar with, but I haven't read it. So will I check her out? I feel like I have to because I don't want to. I feel like I have to push past that emotion and give her a go. Because whatever the film tells me, that's not her. I have to remember that it's an actress portraying a character who has been written into a screenplay and directed on screen by a director. That is not Shirley Jackson. So yes, I think I will make the effort to read her. If you can recommend anything specific, do let me know. I'd love to just try any of her work. Well, maybe love's not the right word. Shirley is worth watching. It's a very well executed film. Just don't expect to fall in love with Shirley Jackson. The film itself, though, not bad at all. 